Good evening, everyone. I'd like to ask that everyone please take your seats. The ceremony will begin in approximately four minutes, so we're re almost ready to start. So if you could all please begin taking your seats. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Eileen Doran, and I'm the Associate Dean for Student Affairs in the College of Applied Health Sciences. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the University of Illinois Chicago College of Applied Health Sciences 
spring commencement ceremony. Today's music is provided by the UIC Ceremonial Brass Ensemble under the direction of Professor Jordan Camp. This commencement brings together members of the University of Illinois Chicago family, students, college administration, faculty and staff, relatives, alumni and friends. Before we begin today's ceremony to assure everyone enjoys this meaningful event, would you please take a moment now to turn off or mute electronic devices that may detract from the ceremony. Thank you. At this time, I present to you the administration of the University of Illinois Chicago and members of the College of Applied Health Sciences distinguished faculty. <laughs> Everyone, please rise as you are able and join us in singing the national anthem led by Greece Zeman. Please remove your caps. The words can be found on the screen above. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocky's red glare, the bumps boosted in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still In the spirit of building a better future in healing, I would like to take a few moments to acknowledge that the UIC resides on the traditional territories of three fire peoples, Ojibwe, Ottawa, Potawatomi. This area was also a site of trade, gathering, and healing for more than a dozen other native tribes. 
What's more, the state of Illinois is currently home to more than 75,000 tribal members, and the Chicagoland area is currently home to one of the largest and most diverse urban native communities in the United States. We recognize that indigenous peoples are the traditional stewards of the land that we now occupy, living here long before Chicago was a city and still thriving here today. As we work together today on these territories and in the year ahead, we must remember our responsibility, especially as a land grant, an Asian American and Native American Pacific Islander serving institution, Hispanic serving institution and minority serving institution to find ways to right the historic wrongs of colonization and state violence, and to build the bridges with and support indigenous community struggles for self-determination and sovereignty. Thank you. Good evening. Buenas tardes. My name is Carlos Crespo. I'm the proud Dean of the UIC College of Applied Health Sciences. And on behalf of the University of Illinois Board of Trustees, the President of the University of Illinois, and the faculty, staff, and administration of the University of Illinois Chicago, I am pleased to welcome you to the UIC College of Applied Health Science commencement ceremony. I now would like to introduce distinguished members of the platform Dr. Killeen, Tim Killeen, President of the University of Illinois. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Robert Barish, Vice Chancellor for Health Affairs. <laughs> Dr. Joanna Groden, Vice Chancellor for Research. <laughs> Dr. Laura Junkers, Associate Dean of the Graduate College. Deb Hartke, President of the AHS Alumni Board. <laughs> Amy Jandek, 2023 Silver Circle Award recipient. <laughs> Kushbu Patel, President of the AHS Student Council. <laughs> Amanda Hintz, who will give the student address. Dr. Renette Taylor, Associate Dean for Academic and Faculty Affairs. <laughs> Dr. Phil Clifford, Associate Dean for Research. <laughs> Dr. Shane Phillips, Senior Associate Dean for Clinical Affairs. <laughs> Dr. Carl Pasipati, Head of the Department of Biomedical and Health Information Science. Dr. Tamar Heller, Head of the Department of Disability and Human Development. <laughs> Dr. Kelly Tappenden, Head of the Department of Kinesiology and Nutrition. <laughs> and Interim Head of the Department of Occupational Therapy. <laughs> and Dr. Ross Arena, Head of the Department of Physical Therapy. <laughs> Thank you. On behalf of the UIC College of Applied Health Science faculty, staff, alumni, congratulations on your graduation. <laughs> this commencement is your day. This is a special day for you. You have your birthday every year, but this event is a once in a lifetime event. Congratulations. We celebrate you, we celebrate your accomplishments, and we celebrate your future. You are graduating at a critical time. These are special times in which we live. Health, health, one more time, is the most important thing in our society. It's not material things, it's not money. What we learned from COVID-19 is, is that health is very important to our society. But there's still a lot of work to do. 
You have acquired the knowledge and the skills and abilities to promote the health in our community. The United States, one of the richest countries in the world, with the most expensive healthcare system, still has one of the lowest life expectancy in the world, at number 30, 34 in the, nation, in the world, number 33 in infant mortality, and is the only industrialized nation where maternal mortality is increasing rather than decreasing. In fact, the World Health Organization ranks the U.S. at number 55 in maternal mortality when compared to all the countries in the world. But wait, there's more. Black, Latino, and indigenous groups in the U.S. have worse health profiles than the general population. There is still a lot of work to do indeed. At the same time, never underestimate the value of your education, especially at a time when higher education is under attack. When I finished high school, the only ticket out of poverty was an education. The post-secondary education that I received leveled the playing field for me. And look how good I came out to be. <laughs> but more importantly, more importantly, is how you came out to be. Your education will allow you to do good things for many people. Congratulations. Today, you're graduating with the mandate to improve the health of the nation, starting right here in your backyard. I ask you to use what you have learned to discover new treatment modalities and to continue to innovate to restore the health among the most vulnerable. The, real the reality is that today's major health problems are not exactly medical problems. Obesity, substance abuse, gun violence, smoking, injuries, accidents, these are not medical problems. They're not going to be solved in the emergency room. These problems are going to be solved by compassionate health professionals like you. Indeed, there's a lot of work to do. The education that you have received in our college has trained you to provide preventive and rehabilitation care, has allowed you to apply technology to improve health outcomes, transform healthcare practices, and social system, all with the utmost respect for the dignity of humanity. Your journey does not end here today. Your true calling continues as you move to the next stage of your career. And before I end, a note of gratitude. Thank the state of Illinois for subsidizing this institution. Thank the donors that have contributed to the college. But more importantly, thank everyone that have traveled with you in this adventure. Thank your family, thank your friends, thank your classmates, thank your advisors, thank your mentors, thank your teacher. We enjoy navigating this journey with you, and we love to see you succeed. We believe in you. Congratulations. This is your day. Enjoy it. Now, it's my privilege to introduce to you the 20th president of the University of Illinois, Dr. Tom Killeen. When he took office in 2015, Dr. Killeen brought more than three decades of experience as a teacher, a researcher, an administrator in public higher education, and in top leadership positions in national scientific research agencies. Dr. Killeen is committed to continue the University of Illinois system rise as a global institution through academic programs that transform students, students' life, and pioneering innovation that drive progress and economic growth. Please join me in welcoming President of the University of Illinois System, Dr. Tim Killeen. Good evening. I'm just honored to be here with all of you, students, family, friends, 
parents, wonderful faculty, colleagues, and of course, graduates to be shortly to celebrate one of the handful of days that you will truly remember in your lives, the rest of your lives. And on behalf of everyone across the University of Illinois system, 95,000 students, 24,000 faculty and staff, congratulations to the UIC class of 2023. And I want to thank you for inviting me here today to the College of Applied Health Sciences to share in the culmination of, of this journey and the beginning of the next, the commencement of the, what comes next. Your work here in the college over the last few years has prepared you to meet some of the most critical challenges that face us as a society in the years ahead. You've chosen a noble path. Health is one of the most basic building blocks in all our lives a key ingredient in our ability to not just live, but to live well and thrive. Proper nutrition, health education, the transfer of knowledge to diverse communities, and so many other factors that are vital to good health. You can now help make sure that the people of this state and this country have good access to them all. It is a heady responsibility, but one that as UIC graduates, doesn't that ring well? you are ready for. The path to this day that you took was like no other. While the pandemic may seem in some ways like old news, I'm sure you have vivid memories of how your experiences were affected by the most daunting public health crisis of the century. You didn't ask for this challenge and you couldn't plan for it, but you adapted, you persevered, and in the end, you succeeded. Through your focus and your collaboration with classmates, you carried forward the phenomenal research and scholarship that are the hallmarks of this wonderful World City's only public research university. And that was no small accomplishment. And UIC's role in developing and distributing COVID-19 vaccines while you were here played a significant role in getting us, all of us, to where we are today. But this wasn't the only journey you completed during your years at UIC. You arrived with your own unique experiences, your own ideas about the world, and your own story. And then you met new people from different backgrounds and experiences and learned from them and learned with them. We hope that this has given you a better understanding of people, an understanding that they are not defined solely or valued solely by demographics, beliefs, or politics. We also hope it gave you an appreciation of hearing and listening to one another, even when you have differences, without the anger that is so easy to fall into, but with patience and empathy. For far too many right now, that anger and rage have become easy answers to the world's many challenges, but they're really no answer at all. So you have the opportunity and now the tools to be part of the solution, to be the antidote to recognize and resist the temptation. You, the proud new graduates of UIC, and members of this great family can be part of important historic solutions as we move forward. You've accomplished so much in your time here. Let's build on those tremendous deeds and continue looking for ways to bring people together in search for better futures for all. Y para no, todos nuestros graduados, Latinos y Latinas, Ha sido una gran travesía el llegar a este momento. El que estén aquí el día de hoy demuestra <coughs> todos sus éxitos. No olviden todo lo que tuvieron que vencer durante su jornada de aprendizaje. El camino, las amistades y la trayectoria son de un gran valor superando todas las adversidades. You are now joining a community of more than 323,000 UIC alumni. That's a big city. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of colleagues, a lot of friends. And in this digital network, that net, in digital world, that network is just a few, a few mouse clicks away. I just ask you to think a few seconds before you hit the send button, but it's there for you. I am immensely proud and deeply respect all of who you are and what you've accomplished and cannot wait to see the many, many ways that you will achieve success in ways in this world. 
And remember that your UIC family and your whole University of Illinois system family will be you, with you every step of the way and waiting right here, eager to share in your successes, to hear your stories when you return. And you shall return again and again and again and again. Congratulations again to the class of 2023. Gracias, Dr. Killeen. It is now my pleasure to welcome UIC Vice Chancellor for Health Affairs, Dr. Robert A. Barish. Dr. Barish is a distinguished physician and academic leader dedicated to the pursuit of health equity. He oversees the UIC seven health science colleges, including the campuses in Chicago, Peoria, Quad Cities, Rockford, Springfield, and Urbana. Dr. Barish also leads the University of Illinois Hospital and Health Systems, UI Health, a clinical enterprise that includes 455 beds of tertiary care hospital, more than 40 outpatient clinics, including 13 mile square health center locations, which are federally qualified health centers. In 2019, Dr. Barish received the William Colin Bryan Award, the highest honor from his alma mater the New York Medical College. He has served as the chair of the board of the Association of Academic Health Centers since 2020. And more recently, in 2022, he was appointed to the board directors of the Association of American Medical Colleges in the US. Dr. Barish. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Crespo and President Colleen and all the distinguished leadership gathered today from across the university and the College of Applied Health Sciences community. Now, I have to stop here because this is a celebration. And I know it's after dinner for many of you, but uh, there should be some enthusiasm. I mean, for the uh, audience, you can pretend you're at a Cubs game, a Sox game, whatever. OK, so you can cheer and, and really see, all right? OK. So when I say during this brief talk, congratulations to the class of 2023, I want to hear something from the class of 2023, OK? <laughs> OK, it's going to happen in about a paragraph, so be prepared. <laughs> so welcome to the families, partners, friends, faculty, and supporters of our outstanding graduates. It's our pleasure to welcome each of you to the campus for this celebration of the next generation of graduates from the College of Applied Health Sciences. Today, we also welcome everyone who's unable to be here but are watching the ceremony online via the streaming. And most importantly, get ready, and most importantly, congratulations to the class of 2023. I like that. I'm going to do that again. And most importantly, congratulations to the class of 2023. <laughs> okay. Now we're going. Okay. So it, it, it's certainly an absolute pleasure and honor to come together in person to celebrate your accomplishments today. So each of you have met rigorous requirements and learned from the formidable training of our distinguished faculty to take place among your peers. You've worked diligently to earn your degrees and all the benefits and opportunities that come with successful completion of your studies. Through your hard work, you have fulfilled the commitment you made when you began this journey and reached this day having faced many challenges. Your class, again, your class was most deeply impacted by the evolving environment of COVID-19 pandemic and the social justice movement. During this time, you certainly learned about the important role that public health leaders, researchers, and health professionals play in helping to support our communities. Indeed, the College of Applied Health Sciences Class of 2023 is certain to remember your years of health science education for your entire lives. I am certain that you have learned and grown into your roles as healthcare leaders for the future. I hope that each of you will take this learning with you throughout your career as you aim to provide compassionate care 
and impact the health and wellness of our communities near and far. As the Vice Chancellor of Health Affairs, it's become evident to me that this class of dedicated and ta talented in individuals will have successful careers as clinicians, researchers, and innovators. This moment marks yet another beginning in your journey. Indeed, we are confident your education and training at UIC have prepared you for what lies ahead. The graduates of the class of 2023 will, will be like few others. You will be cited, you will be quoted, and interviewed about your experiences for generations to come. Beyond the disciplines to which you applied yourself over the course of your studies at UIC, there are lessons that will be unique to your class forever. So as you begin this next chapter in your career, I encourage you to look forward with curiosity and excitement to what lies ahead in your future. Use the sense of initiative and excitement that was fostered at UIC to innovate and establish new paths for those who will follow in your footsteps. As UIC's newest graduates, each of you will now pick up the mantle of responsibility from those who preceded you. And when you walk out these doors, please remember to return. We want to hear about your accomplishments. We want you to remain part of the growing UIC alumni family. So once again, I'm incredibly proud of all of you. And on behalf of our entire UIC community, I know we are eager to see what you will do as you forge a new beginning in your careers ahead. Wherever you go, I know you will shine as every flame shines brightly and that you will be lighting the way for all of those that come after you. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you, Dr. Barish. So this is the point where the party starts. This is, this is the point that, uh, where we begin the conferral of degrees from the University of Illinois on behalf of the Board of Trustees for the UIC Applied Health Science Class of 2023. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy candidates, please rise if you're able. There you go. Please rise. President Killeen, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the vote of the Senate, I have the honor to present these candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy. Thank you, Dean Crespo. Upon these recommendations and by authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the Doctor of Philosophy degree for which you have been presented and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of those degrees. Thank you. You might be seated. <laughs> Doctor of Clinical Exercise Physiology candidate. Please rise if you're able. President Killeen, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the vote of the Senate, I have the honor to present the candidate for the Doctor of Clinical Exercise Physiology. Upon these recommendations and by authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the Doctor of Occupational Therapy degree for which you have been presented and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of those degrees. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. You might be seated. For the Doctor of Occupational Therapy candidates, please rise if you're able. President Killeen, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the vote of the Senate, I have the honor to present these candidates for the Doctor of Occupational Therapy. Upon these recommendations and by authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the Doctor of Occupational Therapy degree for which you have been presented and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of those degrees. Congratulations. Congratulations. Doctor of Physical Therapy candidates, please rise if you're able. President Killeen, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the vote of the Senate, 
I have the honor to present these candidates for the Doctor of Physical Therapy. Upon these recommendations and by authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the Doctor of Physical Therapy degree for which you have been presented and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibility of those degrees. Congratulations. Congratulations. Master of Science candidates, please rise if you're able. President Killeen, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the vote of the Senate, I have the honor to present these candidates for the Master of Science. Upon these recommendations and by authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the Master of Science degree for which you have been presented and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of those degrees. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. You might be seated. Bachelor of Science candidates, please rise if you're able. One, two, three, four, five, six. President Killeen, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the vote of the Senate, I have the honor to present these candidates for the Bachelor of Science. Thank you, Dean Crespo. Upon these recommendations and by authority of the Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the Bachelor of Science degree for which you have been presented and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of those degrees. Congratulations. Congratulations. Certificate candidate, would you please rise if you're able? I have the honor to present the Illinois Board of Higher Education Certificate candidate. Congratulations. <laughs> now we come to the high point of our commencement recognition of our new graduates. Graduates, your name recording will play as you cross the stage. This is high tech now. <laughs> In the event of a technical difficulty, however, your name will be read. Please be patient to ensure that all graduates have the best experience possible. After you have crossed the stage, please return to your seats and remain seated for the remainder of the ceremony. Good evening, everyone. This is the moment I know you have all been waiting for, so let's make some noise for our graduates, please. I am Sarah Parker Harris. I'm the Director of Graduate Studies for the Department of Disability and Human Development. It is my great pleasure to introduce candidates for the Doctorate of Philosophy for the College of Applied Health Science these are the real doctors in the house, so let's give some applause. Tamara Lynn Thompson Spratley. Parents. Ryan Haber.
Georgios Grigoriadis. <laughs> Ksenia Brukova. Good evening. My name is Jenica Lee. I'm the clinical associate professor in the occupational therapy department. It is my pleasure. It is my pleasure to present the post-professional occupational therapy doctorate candidates. Jennifer K. Stenger. <laughs> Im Jung Jang. Marie Weissel. <laughs> Rebecca Schatz. Good evening, I'm Dr. Jamal Ozemek, Clinical Associate Professor in the Department of Physical Therapy. It is my distinct pleasure to present the Doctor of Clinical Exercise Physiology candidates. Charles Gronow. Good evening. My name is Gay Girolami. I'm the Director of Professional Education for the Doctor of Physical Therapy program. This evening, it is my honor to introduce to you the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Physical Therapy. Nicole Piatek. Kaylee Geisy. Kayla Ann Perez. Kimberlyn N. Gadowski. <laughs> Ingrid Lamel Iverson. Kimberlyn N. Gadowski. Kristen Ann Vasilakos. G. A. Tong. Asahi Miyazaki.
Nicole and Lassie Alberto. Mickey James Riley. Karinveer Sandhu. Kevin Andrew Ackerman. Patrick Morin. Will Noel. Jorge Fernando Ochoa. Vincent Sue. Roberto Carlos Castillo. Vaidika V. Patel. Hiba Sayed. Alyssa R. Simpson. Gina M. Stoll. Christopher T. Sepiora. Benjamin Wiley. Mitchell P. Sharkey. Andrew Young. Nadelcho V. Valchev. Kenneth Allen Juris. Kush Brar. Mark Martin. Ryan Coleman Bandick Jr. Megan A. Jennings. Hannah Cly. Abby Elizabeth Rosenquist. Caitlin Ockhurst. <laughs> Ellen Janen Howe. <laughs> Ashley Elizabeth Holzer. Aaron Claire Johnson. <laughs> Riley Nicole Kilber. Megan Elizabeth Ritchie. Melissa A. Higgins. Camille Simone Cardenas. Kelly Tran. Sarah J. Matson. 
Pamela Medina. Kathleen M. Callahan. Rita M. Walsh. Martin Hebe. Miji Park. Alyssa V. Royer. <laughs> Miriam R. Rim. Jennifer A. Nardoni. Good evening, everyone. I'm Spiros Kitschu, Professor of Biomedical and Health Informatics. It is my pleasure to present the Master of Science degree graduates from the Department of Biomedical and Health Information Sciences. Manjima Pal. Boyana Nikolic. Renante We Marante. Delina Huin. Benjamin Tam. Misha McGlory. Timothy David Weber. Kaylee Rigalski. Tool Mateen Maria Justine K. Qua Bushra Malik Ahmed Amy Huang Hannah Gila Kaufman Sarah Aben Jones. <laughs> Nina Sugimoto Eckstein. <laughs> Gabriel John Garcia Lopez. <laughs> Shalandra Denise Fuller. <laughs> Sidra Begum. <laughs> Sophia Garcia Martinez. Yadira Noemi Galicia. Oriana Hines. Tanya Singh. Ibad Rahman. Luca S. Brunozzi. Delilah Jade Prisbilla. April Noel Damon. Lauren Mushkara. <laughs> Catherine N. Tran. Lauren N. Elder. <laughs> Odelia Chang. Sydney C. Takata. <laughs> Eliza Steerly. <laughs> Laurel Moore. Elizabeth Klein. 
Jeffrey L. Achenzo. Clara Lee. So Young Kwan. Joseph Mahalka. Jamin Makadia. Prisca Marcus Xavier. Susel Escalante. Amira Oke. Katrina Rose Roof. Sylvia A. Ketza. Keandra Foggy. Adebola Adeniyi. Shweta Puranik. Good evening. Uh, my name is Jamila Fantuzzi. I'm the Director of Graduate Studies for Kinesiology and Nutrition. And it's my pleasure to introduce the candidates for the degrees of Master's in Nutrition and Master's in Kinesiology. Li Yaofeng. Kai Nimoto. Iman B. Kiani. Jessica Michelle Eustick. Krusi Davia Trevecki Moyes. Emily Catherine Rodriguez. Tamara Alok. Bridget O'Neill. Daphne J. Barnes. Francisco Rivera. Evelyn Rios. Brooke M. Nichols. Haley Christine Janda. Jeremy Hoffman. Miriam Masal Hahn. Stephanie Jo Samogi. <laughs> Trevor Brian Martin. Cornelius E. Tiharina. <laughs> Eric P. Kulpinski. <laughs> Kathleen E. Reedy. <laughs> Sochi Zamorano. I'm Liz Peterson. I'm clinical professor and director of professional education in the Department of Occupational Therapy. It is my pleasure to present the Master of Science candidates from the P Department of Occupational Therapy. Jenna Abdullah. Chantel Brooks. Karen Davila. Francis Jaira Amal Espedito. <laughs> Natalia Hansen. <laughs> Alejandra Arrera. <laughs> Mackenzie Kahns. <laughs> Kayla Miner. <laughs> Daniela Nicasio. Nareda Rosas. Christina Sandoval. Monica Strom. 
Alexis Vitalo. Good evening. I'm Alex Aruin, and I'm Director of Graduate Studies for the Department of Physical Therapy. It's my pleasure to present the graduates from the Master of Science program in Health Span Promotion and Rehabilitation. Cheyenne A. Aguilar. Andriana E. Tangonin. Neha Mehta. I'm Rob Gould, Director of Undergraduate Studies for the Department of Disability and Human Development. I'm extremely proud to announce the candidates for a Bachelor's of Science in Disability and Human Development. Abril Martinez. Itzel Ruiz. Roxana Barranco. Stacy D. Sanjeev. Denai Rumaliotis. Kanaya Evelyn Ayers. Angela Martha Vasquez. Kayla Market. Ashley Acevedo. Kinza S. Ali. Morgan D. Sanders. Janelle Colette Nocentelli. Catherine Lucia Catroni. Gabriella N. Werner. Janaya Lockridge. <laughs> Alyssa J. Zaldivar. Lauren A. Dimayuga. Good evening, my name is Felicia Williams. I'm a clinical assistant professor and the program director for the undergraduate degree in health information management. It is my pleasure to present to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Health Information Management. Saida Hamna Mahim. Haris Naeem. Ashante Fatima Benford. Sandra Delgado. Atika Patel. Joy Angelica Schreiner. Samuel Y. Amagatsi. Harun M. Giyasuddin. Kushbu Suresh Patel. Rosmina Mustaf Patel. Brianna Araceli Urbina. Patricia Alize Lim. Mace M. Abugosh. Zachariah Ahmed. Abu Tarab Syed. John Paolo R. Aguira. Julio Enje. Leticia Barrera. Marinel Ferrer. Jeff Brian E. Mendrez. Sarah Reposh. Akira Jade Tanton. 
Nancy Sanchez. Shaima A. Mamon. Destiny D. Lee. Elena R. Botris. Kiran G. Armand. Sofia Orozco. Good evening. Neil H. Patel. <laughs> I'm Jennifer Westcott, Interim Director for the Program in Rehabilitation Sciences. It is my honor to present to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Rehabilitation Sciences. <laughs> Neil Patel. <laughs> Maria Isabel Vela. <laughs> Bianca J. Ledesma. <laughs> Lisette Rivas Montiel. Adrian Trevino. Ashley Hanley. <laughs> Sophia S. Youssef. Naticia C. Gidron Nutai. Monica Margaret Jaso. Elizabeth Barajas. Jessica Malgorzata Utratni. Angelina Rosella Castle. Trifina Persis Tatiu. Kimena Malegon. Yasmin A. Esparza. Lindsay Geronimo. Carla Hernandez. Theophilus Adote. Joshua Ortega Aquino. Adeline L. Fernandez. Stephanie Ann Keefe. Byungju Kim. Delia Page Harrington. Summer Aria Stevens. Rachel Rojas Patino. Lauren Nicole Meager. Alondra Lozano. Juan Daniel Zermeno. Elizabeth Antunes. Katie R. Romo. Alyssa J. Zaldivar. Dominic R. Principato. Jennifer Garcia Esparza. Madeline Alyssa Cardona. Wilbert Antonio Rivas. Rebecca Abera Mulugeta. A. Dimayuga. Good evening. My name is Kirsten Strawn. I am the director of the nutrition program, and I am proud and delighted to introduce the candidates for bachelor's degree in nutrition. Alexandra Niemeska Tocek. Eric Amaya. Jonathan Reynoso. Ivan Mesa Orozco. Ricky Zhang. Thomas Patrick Wooten. Aman Batty. Gia S. Kala.
Roshni Ganga Mernidi. Julia Rose Furman. Nurohuda Faruqi. Christine Yu Amadi. Connie H. Lee. Guadalupe Martinez. Serena Ann Liu. Karina C. Choksi. Mandy J. Alstead. Yvonne Izquierdo. Manure Tufail. Vanessa Marquina. Tara Higgins. Justine D. Rasuelio. Brittany Cripps. Good evening, my name is Josh Miller. I'm clinical associate professor in kinesiology, as well as the director of undergraduate studies in kinesiology. And it's my honor to introduce to you the candidates for bachelor's of science in kinesiology. Benali Patel. Melanie Taylor Salinas Enriquez. Cameron Lang. Patricia Noriega. Eli A. Olivares. David Ruperto Meraz. Julissa Unsueta. Nia Simone Freeman. Amanda M. Hines. Daniel Lopez. Matthew John Mosier. Ed Angelovich. Brandon Nicholas Lee. Subnam Hajari. Jennifer Garcia. Sabrina A. Olivares. Gabriel Cortez. Brian E. Campos. Sitlali Hernandez. Vincent Flores. Jose H. Perez. Maximus Renteria. Jason Pham. Devin C. Augustin. Mariah A. Sierra. Sanai Alejandra Cooks. Gerardo Oñate. Marone Ibrahim. Mohammed Ali. Dylan Jew. Alvin Fuang. Giselle Shana Angsitko Mendoza. Mayorwa Adewale Balogun. Karina Favela. Javante Dawson. Marion Gordon. Jorge Mercado. Luke Martin. Gary Y. Rodas. Kyle J. Basildua. Isha Niranjan Patel. Syed W. Fatimi. Lua Yeni Oladipo. Solomon N. Lewis. 
Alyssa Caitlin C. Galura. Christy A. Weissel. Leah Maria Scufos. Pia Marie Saucy Moscoso. Danielle Sebastian Arcos Solis. Jonathan Barbosa Visperas. Hayan Khan. Nathan Lim. Jesus Fernandez. Damian Lee Zavala. Jennifer Aranda. Nayeli Lopez. Justin Un Lim. Derek Armando Rojas. Matthew N. Alvarez. Shirley Go. Kimberly Dunleavy. William Edward Davis. Aitiana I. Bosque. Amy A. Ortega. Alejandro Benjamin Amara. Dylan Thomas Smith. Ryan Daniel Greenberg. Thomas O'Donnell. Daniel Eduardo Junquera. Connor Cahoon. Kostadin Stoyanov. Elspieta Anna Wojtashik. Marlene Suzette Angulo. Myra Partida. Angela Guerrero. Emil Nico. Adnan Arif. Augustin Jonah Kim. Zachary T. Smith. Savina Kaur Swatch. Trisha Lynn P. Haramis. Daniel M. O'Nal. Gil Kegba Benwa. Elijah Sambeli Inesio. Ashwarya Veronica Augustine. Jennifer Ortiz. Karina Isa Perzinski. Brianna B. Varela. Vera Love King. Amelia G. Wrigley. <laughs> Jessica Y. Taliz. <laughs> Anayi Talapa Salgado. Garrett B. English.
That was something else, wasn't it? Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> Congratulations, you earn it. You earn it. It is my pleasure now to introduce you to Do uh, Deb Hatke uh, for the tassel switch ceremony. Deb is the current president of the USC Applied Health Science Alumni Board. Graduates, I am honored to lead our undergraduate class in the honor tradition that signals your transition from degree candidate to alumnus of the University of Illinois of Chicago. Will the Bachelor of Silence Science candidates, please rise if you are able. Now please move your mortar board tassel from right to left. <laughs> On behalf of the alumni board of the college, I am pleased to welcome you to our ranks. Congratulations and best wishes to the AHS class of 2023. You might be seated. I want to take a moment to pause. And as we honor the AHS class of 2023, I would like to take a moment of silence to remember one of your classmates of this graduating class who are no longer here with us. Please join me in honoring comfort Ade Dyer from our Bachelor of Science in Health Information Management program. Thank you. Thank you. I want to take also the opportunity now to recognize those graduates who have distinguished themselves in various ways during their academic careers. Will the following students please rise and remain standing? Graduates who have been members of the Honors College as designated by the gold stalls you wear. Oh, wait, there's more. Graduate with high academic achievements, such as summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude as designated by the gold, silver, and bronze course that you wear. We're in good hands. Graduate who have earned college honors. You know who you are? Congratulations. <laughs> Graduate who have earned departmental distinction. All right. Please join me in congratulating, there you go. Congratulating all these outstanding students and graduates. Thank you. Next, I want to uh, announce those students that have received this year's Achievement Awards 
which is given to one graduating student from each program, selected by the faculty based on their overall academic performance and their potential for becoming outstanding practitioner in their field, and who have demonstrated leadership on provided or provided services to the campus or their profession. Graduates, when I call your names, please rise if you're able and remain standing. Audience, I know it's hard. I ask you that you hold your applause until all the students' names are read. Kiran Armand, BS in Health Information Management. I know it's hard. Madeline Cardona, BS in Rehabilitation Science. Jennifer Corral, MS in Nutrition. April Damon, MS in Biomedical Visualization. Lauren Dimayuga, BS Disability in Human Development. Sandy Gottman, MS in Disability and Human Development. Vera Kayleen, PhD, Rehabilitation Sciences. Maria Veronica Jerena, Doctor of Occupational Therapy. Trevor Martin, MS in Kinesiology. Ishan Patel, BS in Kinesiology. Chris Cipriura, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Leah Scofus, BS in Kinesiology. And Tamara Thompson Spratley, PH in Disability Studies. Now, now, big round of applause to everybody. Thank you. Uh, next, I would like to present the Dean's Award. The Dean's Award is given to an outstanding graduating student who has been active in the community while maintaining a strong academic record. This year, I'm delighted to present the 2023 Dean's Award to Kushbu Patel. <laughs> Kushbu, please. Kushbu is graduating today from our Bachelor of Science in Health Information Management program. She has been active as a student leader within our college and across the campus and currently serves as the AHS Student Council President. Kushbu has given countless hours of service to the USC community in her role as a peer mentor, as a teaching aide, as a tutor, orientation leader, a student organization leader. She's the recipient of the President's Volunteer Service Award Kushbu has also been recognized for her academic achievement through the UIC Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, supporting excellent en endowment and consistent consecutive terms on the Dean's List. Kushbu will be pursuing a law degree this fall. Please join me in congratulating Kushbu Patel. Thank you so much, Dean Crespo, and good evening, everyone. To the class of 2023, congratulations and best of luck on the next chapter of our journey. I want to take a moment to thank and acknowledge all of the graduating students, especially those I had the privilege of meeting and working with through the College of Applied Health Sciences Student Council, along with other organizations within the college. Thank you all for your hard work, dedication, and service throughout the year. It has been an honor working alongside each and every one of you. <laughs> great teachers are at the heart of a great university. The University of Illinois at Chicago annually recognizes and honors its outstanding faculty. Recipients of the Silver Circle Award are selected by our students who honor those who have taught them with distinction. This year's winner of the Silver Circle Award is Professor Amy Jandick from the Department of Kinesiology and Nutrition. Please come forward to accept your award.
I also have the pleasure of presenting the AHS Excalibur Award for Teaching Excellence. We would not be here today without the outstanding teachers and mentors we have had along the way. So we want to personally say thank you to all of the extraordinary faculty at the UIC College of Applied Health Sciences. Thank you. The Excalibur Award is presented to teachers who are role models in their profession, who provide encouragement for learning in the classroom or clinical setting, who help guide students in the achievements of their goals, and who are supportive of the student's individual efforts. We would like to take a moment to acknowledge these outstanding faculty here today. Faculty, please rise if you are able as I call your name. Audience, please hold your applause until all names have been announced. From the Kinesiology Department, Varid Arbel. From the Disability and Human Development Program, Stephanie Bay. From the Biomedical and Visualization Program, Kelly Koniger. From the Nutrition Program, Kelsey Gable. From the Physical Therapy Program, Gay Virolami. From the Health Informatics Program, Laura Mill. From the Occupational Therapy Program, Ashley Stoffel. From the Rehabilitation Sciences Program, Jennifer Westcott. From the Health Information Management Program, Felicia Williams. Congratulations to all of our awardees. It's hard to hold your applauses, but I understand. We're saving the best for last. I would like to introduce you to Amanda Hines, who will present our student address. Amanda is graduating today with a Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology, along with minors in Psychology and Disability and Human Development. She's an Honors College student, Presidential Award, Program Scholars, and a member of our Applied Sports Psychology, Injury Research and Education Lab. During her time at USC, she completed a capstone research project assessing Big Ten Institution's public promotion of mental health services under Dr. John Coombe Lilly. She also had the opportunity to present her research at the, 20, at the 2023 Midwest Sports and Exercise Psychology Symposium. As a National Youth Advisory Council member, she fundraised $1,500 for the North American Youth Programs and volunteered at an after-school program in our local community. She's the president of Alpha Omega Chicago, and recipient of the Chancellor Student Service and Leadership Award, as well as the Urban Health Program Leadership Award. Amanda will be pursuing her studies in physical therapy after graduation. To the class of 2023, I am proud to be standing here with you today. To our family and friends who have supported us, thank you. We would not be here without you. I may be a bit biased, but I do believe the College of Applied Health Sciences is the best college within UIC. <laughs> yeah, let's give a round of applause. <laughs> thank you for agreeing with me. Um, although we're comprised of 10 diverse degree programs, a few common factors are present through each, allowing us to be an interdependent and tight-knit community. All of our departments have the same goal of building a better world through advocacy, wellness, and well-being. AHS has equipped and empowered each of us to further transform health practices and social systems in whichever field we choose. Our time at UIC has provided us with a strong foundation of opportunities, along with the knowledge necessary for our future, which makes us confident as we move forward in this next step. We will close this chapter of our lives knowing the relationships we have made through faculty and friends will continue to impact our lives on a personal and professional level. It is comforting to know that the future of healthcare is in good hands because you are all a part of that future. The passion of our professors, the dedication of our faculty, and the opportunities provided through our college have continued to surprise me year after year. But what has surprised me most is you, my peers. Our college experience has been nothing short of unconventional. From my personal experience, I remember completing my first semester of college, 
navigating the wonderful city of Chicago, connecting with peers whose names I've now forgotten, and assimilating into UIC culture. In our spring semester, March of 2020, the entire world changed. The COVID-19 pandemic was announced, and like many others, I moved back home. Although I don't know how the pandemic affected each of you sitting here today, it is a shared experience and one that greatly affected our lives, our relationships, and our education. Our visions of what college was supposed to look like were quickly stripped away as we navigated struggles of isolation, confusion, and fear. The following years of our college experience were threatened by these dilemmas, but we adapted. We took 8 a.m. lectures in our bedrooms. We took midterms and finals in our basements and felt sheer panic when the Wi-Fi went out. <laughs> we discovered new hobbies and interests with our newfound free time, reconnected with old friends, and awkwardly attempted to make new friends in Zoom chats or breakout rooms. But above all else, we adapted. And as school has resumed to normal, whatever that is, we adapted yet again. I feel so proud to simply look around and recognize the perseverance each person in this room possesses. I have confidence that this skill of adaptation and quality of grit will serve us well in our future academic or career goals. I mean, how many other graduating classes can say that each year of their college experience has looked vastly different? Something I've learned in my young adulthood is that often when confronting a challenge, you don't need to be perfect, you don't need to be the best, you just need to show up. When we got our acceptance letter, we showed up. When classes moved online, we showed up. When campus opened back up with mask mandates, we showed up. When classes got tough, when money got tight, when apathy or discouragement threatened our well-being, we showed up. I hope and believe that we are a group of individuals who continue to show up despite challenges because in spite of all the obstacles that stood in our way, these challenges did not overcome us. We overcame them. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, to the class of 2023, congratulations, thank you, and keep showing up. Thank you. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you, family and friends, for sharing this special day with our graduates and the college. Thank you for showing up today. <laughs> today is a special day, special day for our graduate. This is their special day. No home chores for today. <laughs> no emptying the dishwasher, not doing your bed. Whatever is left of the day, spoil them. And please don't make them pay if you go out for dinner tonight. <laughs> I also want to thank the UIC Ceremonial Brass Ensemble for providing our music today. Our distinguished guest, the UAC administrator that are here today. I would like to take this opportunity to also thank the UAC staff members whose effort made this celebration today possible. Everything went smoothly, and we don't know why we are sitting where we are. We don't know why the microphones are working. We don't know why the technology works, but there are these invisible hands behind that are making this possible. I wanna give them a big round of applause. These UIC staff members contributed in so many important ways to the function of our great and complex institution, and we owe them our gratitude for their excellence. A very special thank you goes to the HS, AH, our Applied Health Science Office of Student Affairs and Advising Staff. Where's Eileen?
So, as we give these new graduates a round of applause, at the conclusion of today's ceremony, the audience and the graduate are asked to remain seated onto the platform party and faculty has recessed. Please exercise caution when leaving the forum and parking area. In conclusion, congratulations to our graduates and to all of their family and friends on this memorable day. Congratulations. The AHS commencement ceremony is now adjourned. Banner carriers, please come forward and escort the platform party, faculty, and AHS class of 2023 graduates. Faculty, please follow the platform party and exit down the side aisle, followed by our graduates. Graduates, our ushers will be dismissing you one row at a time. Our graduates will actually be exiting the building, so please join your families and guests outside after the processional. Thank you and good evening.